How's it going everyone? In today's video we're going to be covering two more primitive types that you'll see being used quite often in Rust. And the first one that we're going to cover today is the Boolean type. And Booleans only have two states, true and false. So to get started, let's create a few Booleans. One's going to be called connected to internet, which will be of type Boolean, and that's going to be set to false. That means we do not have a valid internet connection. Another example of a Boolean can be whether the user has a cat, and that's going to be set to true because the user has a cat. And if you wanted to display this information, we can print it to the console just to see what we would get as an output. So we're going to do that for has cat as well. Now all we have to do is open up the console and run this program. So cargo run in quiet mode. And what we're going to get as an output is our variable with the value, which is false and true. A very common example of where you will see Booleans being used is with if checks. For example, we might have some money, which will be of type integer, and that will contain 5,000 euros. Next, we're going to print that the money is more than or greater than zero and whether that's true or not. So here we can just type in money is greater than zero. And this is going to return to us a Boolean because here we're asking the computer, is money more or greater than the value of zero? And if we run this, you're going to get true back because 5,000 is obviously greater than zero. And this becomes quite useful when you want to introduce logic to your program. Imagine you have some sort of bank and you want to check whether the user has money. We can do so using the following syntax. And this requires curly brackets. Now inside here, if money is greater than zero, we're not going to kick the user out of our bank. You are not broke. Now, if we were to run this, you'll see that money is greater than zero will return true and that we will also get this print statement executed because this condition was met. And this only printed because this returned true. And I'll be explaining more about this syntax in the near future. For now, all you need to know is that Booleans represent true and false in programming. And since explaining Booleans didn't take up much time, I'm also going to teach you about another type in this video the character type. So let's take a look at what a character in Rust looks like. So here I'll type in let letter of type car or a character equal Z. And you probably noticed something quite fun here. And that is that I had to use single quotation marks to define this character. In most programming languages, this is going to be how you define a character. Even without the type annotation, you'll notice that this will still be considered a letter or not a letter, but a character. Rust can recognize that from the single quotation marks. But let's create a few more examples such as Omega, which will be of type car, and that's going to equal Omega. And finally, we might have something such as a heart, and that's going to equal this Unicode heart over here. And it's important that you note that these are all single characters. We cannot insert two different characters and hope that it's going to compile it must be a single character. That's the whole purpose of the character type. And we can just print one for the fun of it. So I'm going to display the heart and we can just forget about the rest. And now if we were to clear this and we were to run this, what we're going to get as an output is our character. Anyway, that's really all I wanted to cover in today's lesson. And in the next couple of videos, we're going to start covering the compound types that we have in Rust. 